we want to find the volume of the sphere with diameter of 27 centimeters. We're asked to find the exact volume, then the volume rounded to two decimal places. When we think of a sphere, we can think of a ball, as we see pictured here, but it's really a three-dimensional surface where every point on the surface is equidistance from a point, which would be the center. The distance from the center to the surface, this distance here, would be the radius. But notice how in this example we're given the diameter, which should be the segment passing through the center with two endpoints on the surface. So the diameter would be this distance here. Notice how the radius is equal to half of the diameter. And looking at our volume formulas, here's the volume formula for a sphere. Volume is equal to four-thirds pi r cubed. So to begin, let's find the radius. The radius is going to be equal to half of the diameter, where again the diameter is 27 centimeters. So we have 27 centimeters divided by two. Let's go ahead and leave this in fraction form, because notice how there's already a fraction in our formula. So we'll leave this as 27 halves centimeters. And now we can find the volume. The volume is going to be equal to four-thirds times pi times r cubed. Let's leave the units off and just remember that the units will be cubic centimeters. So we'll have 27 halves cubed. Let's go ahead and show some work here. We'll have four-thirds times pi times 27 halves cubed. So in parentheses, we'll have 27 halves, close parenthesis, and we'll cube this. So we'll press the exponent key or the caret, three, enter. We want this as a fraction, so we'll press math, enter, enter. So we have 19,683 divided by eight. Now again, for the exact volume, we're going to leave pi in our answer. So now we'll find the product of four-thirds and this fraction here. So we'll have in parentheses four divided by three times 19,683 divided by eight, close parenthesis, enter. Again, we don't want to have this as a decimal. It's not good form to have a decimal times pi. So we'll convert this back to a fraction by pressing math, enter, enter, and we have 6,561 divided by two, but we can't forget about the factor of pi. So we have 6,561 divided by two pi, and again, this is volume, so we'll have cubic centimeters. Now let's also get our decimal approximation. It is common to use 3.14 as an approximation for pi, but we're going to use the pi key on the calculator for more accuracy. So again, we have our fraction, 6,561 divided by two in parentheses, and then times pi, we press second caret, this brings up the pi, enter. Now if we round this to two decimal places, notice how the third decimal place is a four, so we round down. So this will be approximately 10,305.99 cubic centimeters. So here we have the exact volume and the volume rounded to two decimal places. I do want to show that if we use 3.14 for pi, it will change our decimal approximation. The reason for this is that when we use the pi key, we're using a much more accurate approximation of pi than 3.14. If we enter 6,561 divided by two times 3.14, Notice how it would change our approximation by over five cubic centimeters. So this answer is going to be much more accurate. So if you do have a pi key, you should use it. I do want to mention one more quick thing. If we're not sure about the units of our answer, we can always leave the units in the formula to determine the units. Notice if we set this up as the volume equals four-thirds times pi times r cubed, if we wrote r as 27 halves centimeters cubed. Of course, the product of four-thirds and 27 halves cubed would still be this fraction here. Then we have our factor of pi. Notice how we can see why the units are cubic centimeters. 
we have centimeters raised to the third power. Finally, looking at the volume, notice how this is telling us that just less than 10,306 cubic centimeters would fit inside our sphere. I hope you found this helpful.